Hi, this is Bob with Gibbs RV, and today we're looking at a bit of a rare bird. This is a 1997 Bigfoot truck camper, model 10-6 basement. Actually, has basement storage. If you're not familiar with Bigfoot, they're all fiberglass, like kind of built like a hot tub. Basically, you have a clamshell design. There's an upper half. You see the seam, and then the lower half. So it's virtually impossible for moisture to get in. Keeps hot temperatures out as well as cold temperatures, keeps the heat in. See this one has tinted glass and the graphics are even in, in good shape for the year actually. It does have electric jacks and there it's not a wireless remote but we have a remote for it as well. I've left these compartment doors open here just so you can see that it's got your water intake there, both propane bottles underneath here, battery. In this compartment, some accessories that came with it, there's our jack remote, turnbuckles, power cord, and white water hose. On the back, um, interesting set of stairs previous owner had made, rather than those accordion folding stairs that can be a little tricky if you're not real nimble on your feet. Here's a view of the back. It's a 2500 series, meaning it is the thicker one. It uh, All the better our value for insulation, what that equates to. Uh, on the back here, one thing to point out, at one point, he backed into something here and broke a step and it put a little gouge into the fiberglass. And normally I would probably re repair that, but we don't have our uh, body guy here for another three weeks. So we're going to put her up for sale just the way it is and priced accordingly. This compartment is for your dump valve. you got an outside shower here water and of course power connector it uh look down the sides there's no stress cracks there's no chips a little bit of fading you know if i were to tear this apart any, anything at all it's the ladder back there a little bit of fading and a, a little bit of yellowing probably some good good rub out might take care of it. it's from that vent above and the screws that rusted and that just rust is kind of Put a stain on it. You can see the plastic, although good quality, it doesn't last as good as good old Bigfoot's molded fiberglass camper. Let's take a look at the inside of this thing. Um, there's another storage compartment here I didn't show, but that also is the basement storage. Fishing poles, things like that that could normally get in the way. Put them down there, easily stored, and that goes back quite a ways. I just don't have it open because the stairs are here right now. Inside, look at all this counter space in your galley. You got a dual basin, stainless steel sink with a household type fixture. Signature of Bigfoot, the cabinets, one of the best you'll find. Solid oak, um, dovetailed on spring loaded hinges. Carpeted ceiling, you'll find that in them too. And if one of these ever leaks, you'll see stains up there. But, you know, a little bit of dirt here and there, but you don't see any kind of staining. Three burner stove with an oven underneath. No microwave. Oh, we got our door there. But uh, cabinets, everything really, really super conditioned. These um, cabinets can be taken out and you can use this for a wardrobe closet as well if you want to hang clothes in there. Storage underneath too, you see. They, I wish they did that on RVs today. Some of them do, but you know, the little for your dish towel and that sort of thing out of the way. Uh, the booth dinette. This, of course, folds down for additional sleeping. Blue in color. You got blue window valances to match. Blinds. Cabinets overhead as well. And then up front, it's a sleeping berth. There's our mattress with compartments on either side. Lights on the headboard. Got a 12 volt. Uh, the unit over there if you need AC power and the side storage is uh, right inside here as well too these actually open right up and then you got room for shoes socks you name it that sort of thing and take a look here at the refrigerator freezer combo I wish I had a fish angle lens here but you got a refrigerator freezer combination and you see it opens up plenty wide we have Compartment here for your television. See the cable jack in there? Probably what a guy do is uh, anchor that down real good for transportation if you have a TV inside there. 
and then more wardrobe storage cedar lined on the bottom the bathroom right as we walked in see you got this little narrow hallway but the bathroom is a combination it's almost uh, the shower stall is a one piece kind of like your wet baths would be with a real nice skylight on top lets in a lot of sunlight and then you've got a shower curtain that wraps around and of course very very little step up to get in there toilet small sink the vanity mirrors behind there's an overhead cabinet here too as well as a power exhaust vent above us so um what makes these so good well for one reason that molded fiberglass really will last forever on the exterior most rvs you're going to have some issues with rot eventually um, your basement storage this is some more storage underneath here you see but things there's even a light in there but things that you don't need inside your camper you can tuck them away there's uh, double windows in the back door as well as a screen door here too stairs are really easy to negotiate too and they actually lock right in there so you don't have to worry about falling out of this thing while it's on top of your truck so 1997 Bigfoot Bigfoot's no longer in business I, well I hear they're coming back I'm gonna start making these again but what a truly great camper we sold them new Gibbs RV Superstore in Coos Bay 1-800-824-4388 remember we take trades we have financing and we can even help with delivery wherever you might live so give us a call Gibbs RV